I will show you guys how to create a mega menu with bricks templates. You can see that I have a mega menu here. This is nice looking. So let's dive into it. First of all, we need in appearance to have a menu and within that menu, we need to have a parent with a child. We also need a very lightweight plugin that allows us to use shortcode in menu. Then we need our templates in here. We need the header. And the header, of course, needs to be assigned with a menu, and that menu has to be our main menu. Then let me create a new template here. So let us call this for Mega Menu New. And let me put it as a section over here Publish. In here, we can, I want to turn this header thing off here General Header Footer off with you. Let me create a container here, a section, and I also want to create another one, which is a row, and this is to the bricks team. So when I type in row up here, I cannot press enter, I cannot do arrows on my keyboard, please fix that. Now I have my row here, also when I click on the elements, I'm not in the search field, I should be that right away instead of using the mouse again to click and search for container. So column here and column here. Now I want to add my heading and my paragraph. I also want to add another column. So let me do this over here and column like that. When in this one I want to add a icon box let me give this a class here. So icon box mega menu. And let me clone this a couple of times like that. Also want to center align this one here perfectly. Let's give our row a background color. So maybe let's go with some uh, almost pink awful here. And I want some padding also. Let me go with the small one. Also want some border radius. Oh, BR. Yep, like that. And then I want to add some padding in the top. And if I am not doing this, this mega menu drop down here will overlap the header. So you can use the much padding as you want, but you have to use something, otherwise it will the menu will be above uh, above the the header. So let me uh, or maybe we should do something here with the icons. Just put in some layout width of 50, probably yeah. And in the column, we want to go like next to each other like that, perfectly. Done. Now we uh, will go to our bricks templates here and we have our new mega menu. We'll copy the short code. Then we will go to the appearance menus and we will add it in the sub item here. So I have a custom link and I also have some CSS classes attached to that. So you can go to screen options, CSS classes. And then I have made some styling on Mega Menu and Mega Menu drop down. If you do not have these, I'll show you how it looks. We already have our shortcode in here. Let me go to the front end and update. You'll now see that this looks like not good. And let me go back to this and say Mega Menu and mega menu drop down save the menu here go back reload now it looks like we want it to and let me you can also see that the icons are white, are white but the text is black so when the shortcode plugin render our bricks template some stuff will not work for example like the you saw like how big it was, it was because the 
text here on the icon box was not wrapping. There was a lot of white space, uh, so it was just like one big line. And the line height is also crazy, so therefore I have done some CSS on that. Let me go to custom code and show you. So you can see here that the white space is unset and the line height is perfectly here. But in this CSS you can do whatever you want. Um, that's why I always use classes on my elements. So if you have something that you cannot control from within here, you can always do some CSS to make it work. But other than that, I have removed the pointer events and that makes sure that we don't have like this pointer here on the whole area. And then I have also added a fixed and positioned it in the middle. And my container width is 1100 um, here and I have some padding on 20 in each side. So therefore this is my max width. So please adjust this to your page. And that's it actually. So this is how easy it is to create a mega menu with bricks. You just you have, of course you have to adjust some small stuff with CSS, but this is basically it. You don't need some crazy huge plugin to do some mega menu stuff. You have everything inside of bricks. So good luck guys. I hope to see some nice results and please share them in the group so we can learn from each other. Take care.